In the wake of Stevenson women's lacrosse win, 18-4 over Lebanon Valley, and we've got the star of the game with us. Kathy Rayleigh will join us in just a second as well. But Kerry Yaruso, eight goals today. It's a career high. It's one goal off the Stevenson all-time record for single game. I don't know if you knew that or not, but what were you seeing and what were you feeling today? Um, I think I was feeling good in the beginning, and also um, obviously my teammates helped me get there. They were moving the ball super fast, finding the open girl, so... I like that backdoor cut, and I did it a lot today. <laughs> so eight goals. So, you know, you've been playing lacrosse for I don't know how long, years, I'm sure. Is, mm. Do you think this is the most goals you've ever scored in a game? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, talk to me about this team. I mean, this is a team that has a small roster this year that needs veteran leadership. you got a lot of first-year players, some injuries, etc. So tell me just a little bit about what's going on with you guys right now. Um, I know that we have a small team, but I think that um, like as the games have gone on, we've gotten much closer, and I think it shows on the field as well. Um, you know, we were starting to get that chemistry and know where people are going before they're moving there. So I think that's a lot, really helpful. And for you in particular, last year, your top six scorers from last year are all gone. Mm -hmm. You kind of elevated and took the mantle. So from your perspective, like filling shoes of other players, how, how do you feel about that? Um, I think obviously like playing with them my, fir my first two years has been a big help and I think I've just seen everything that they've done well and tried to mimic it myself. So. First game of the conference season, so that's got to be a big confidence booster for you? Yeah, for sure. We're going to need to keep this energy going. Mm -hmm. you got some big games coming up. We really enjoyed watching you today and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. that's Kerry Yaruso. Let's bring in Kathy Rayleigh, head coach. Kathy, we have to go live right away. So fine, I, fine. Like, I like your hat, by the thank way. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, Higher level thought of what happened today? Well, a, a couple different things. This team is so hardworking. I, I really felt like we were going to have a good game because we had such an amazing week at practice. The energy was high. The, the, the things we were doing, we were doing at full speed. Um, you know, we have a lot of young players out there that are stepping their game up enormously, buying into what the coaches are saying. And that is so helpful. It's, you know, it's easy to coach when you're telling them something and it, and it gets done or they're trying hard to, to, to make some changes out there. Um, we had to do a U-turn with our injuries. You know, we had, we had to do a U-turn and say we need to go back to the drawing board and we need to rethink the following things. Um, Taylor Blick did a good job of, of coming up with something that she thought maybe would, could work for us. So we're going to start blending our def defenses a little bit more, which we did fantastically today after I th believe it was only two practices that we practiced that defense. Really? So, so blending our defenses, making sure our, uh, the attack that we're facing is never going to know what we're in when they get down on the field, just to try to click some seconds off. So unbelievably proud from, t from goalie down to the lowest attacker of how hard we played, how hard we, were in the, uh, how hard we played in the ride, how well we cleared, um, how well we played defense. And, and I thought our ball movement, I, I think our ball movement was not the highest point today, but the thoughts and the concepts are there. The execution, we just need to get a little, little more work on. So many things yeah. to ask you about. Let, let's, stay yes. with, let's stay with the defense. Yeah. Their top scorer, Veronica Venezia, came in. She had 24 goals, I believe, coming mm -hmm. in today. I don't think she scored today. I don't think she got two shots today. She I got two shots. two shots. Well, we watch okay. it. We watch it. Okay. She's a great player. And if she's watching this, we're, we're, you know, I don't want to have any offense towards Lebanon Valley or Veronica, but we're so glad she's graduating. <laughs> and we can't wait. <laughs> To, to, we can't. We're excited for her, but at the same time, we're not sad that we won't see her on the opposing end anymore. But again, that's um, defense though today. Well, you know, there was a couple things that we we had the right when we were in man to man. We had the right matchup in Hannah Ash. Hannah played her so tight and so well last year. So when we're in man, Hannah took care of her when we were in man, um, and she the, the team itself, Lebanon Valley and the Cells, I think had a little difficulty finding the gaps in our in our defense. And you combine that with a goalie that's going to make the free position shot safe. And then, you know, we're okay giving up the outer hashes on the free position. And we talked about that. We just don't want to give the middle hashes. So so they did everything that they were supposed to do with that, which was fantastic. Um, yes, go ahead. You, 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 you uh, controlled the circle today. I think, I don't know the exact number, but I think it was double, 16-8 uh, maybe, as far as the draws were that concerned. Right. Rides, midfield, you know, mm -hmm. free position. You controlled the eight. Mm -hmm. um, we talked earlier. Uh, you had to score a lot of goals to beat yeah. this team. How you many got, did I tell you? Do you right, remember? 20. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, so they were short by two. Um, but – First game in the conference, 1-0, confidence booster for the team. Absolutely. And if they, you know, what we want to remember is why we the game was the score it was today. The game was the score it was because we practiced hard. They're good teammates to each other. They're supportive to each other. 
Um, they practice hard. They play hard. It's not you're not making a leap. You're 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 doing exactly what you should be doing in the game every day at practice, and it just elevates. And and you know, Kara and Hannah Ash, uh, the leadership is exceptional with that. They are just such hard workers at practice. So you have an interesting yeah. schedule coming up. Actually, <laughs> you've got a quick turnaround for Wednesday. Uh-huh. You're off Saturday. Uh-huh. Basically, you have two Wednesdays in a row right. before you get into the grind. Right. So how do you handle that now? Well, we got to get our midfield a lot of rest because we, we don't have the depth that this year in in the midfield. So. Um, um, though I think Kara can run for days and days on end, we want to make sure she and Isabel are fresh. Uh, so they'll be somewhat limited in, in their steps and practice on Monday and Tuesday. Um, at this point in the season, we got to take care of a few X's and O's. It, we don't have to run them like crazy and, and stick skill, and they should be doing that on their own. So so um, we can pare down practice a little bit. You know, every team in the, in the MAC is, is good or a threat. We had a good day today. Lebanon Valley maybe didn't have a good day, but they're going to have better days. We need to just ride this to get even better on Wednesday against well, Albright. Yeah. Well, it's a big win, and 1-0 and in the conference means a lot. So congratulations sure Thank you. to you and Kara, okay. by the way. Yes, indeed. And I'm Gary and Stein. And the rest of the girls. And the rest of the girls, absolutely. And this is GoMustangSports.tv.